syntax related things will be done by basis consultant okay so uh, any kind of uh, uh, see i doc ready for dispatch receiver everything is fine but this is the error okay so the real time the, who will handle this your basis consultant or aware consultant will do that because it's a customization related error okay like uh, so fi related errors also come like in purchase order you haven't given cost center in purchase order you haven't given profit center in purchase order uh, you, your order your order budget was exceeded you can also say the same things to the interviewer right now some errors i'm uh, telling which i come across recently so in purchase order you haven't given cost center account assignment was not given properly okay and um, so in purchase order you haven't given profit center uh, so in purchase order uh, internal order budget was exceeded three this kind of three errors you can say to the interviewer and one uh, one more error is uh, at the time of creation of invoice okay so a segment was not given so the error has been come okay these errors were i were rectified that's it okay and uh, i want to reprocess this i doc actually what happened this will be correction done by done by our uh, basis consultant uh, once it is done so we need to reprocess this okay for reprocessing i doc so we can use um, we can use wbd87 uh, bd87 decode So here we need to give the failure I doc. So this was corrected by uh, your basis consultant. Now you want to re-execute, reprocess 2495, 2495, 2495, 2495, 7477, 747. Okay, and execute. Okay, there is nothing else. Come over here because uh, the uh, the this was uh, taken wrongly. Okay, so this is the old one. I'm removing this. Now you can see this. So this is the error, right? So once it is corrected, then only execute this transaction code BD87. Okay. So just a process. You can click this. So your status comes to 03. Okay. So error at log you can also see. So error log there is no error. Okay. Now so now I just is go to uh, port to OK, OK, and then what happened? It just to go to W zero to once again. OK, so now you just go to once again and check. So what is that uh, two four nine five? You can give it on today's date. We have executed OK, 24 nine five. 747 okay and execute okay so i think this uh, date has been given wrongly so i just removing now click okay see this is the invoice has been successfully created that means your error has been rectified so idoc sent to external system so we can reprocess it okay by using reprocessing we can use the w02 code Okay, and uh, we can also perform IDOC testing also. So we can also perform IDOC testing. How we can do that? I will tell you. Just uh, go back. See, right now we created vendor master, right? Vendor master, you created customer master, you created. Okay, this is vendor master, right? So I want to change the data records. Okay, let's say for example, I just taking. Uh, uh, you just go to W19 for testing decode is W19. This video two times, okay? W19. So I am taking this uh, testing purpose, uh, 2500, 2500 and 137. Okay? So just I am extracting. So this is, uh, you can see, so um, this is the, so this is segments, okay? So if you click on this, it's a port and partner number and logical system message type okay port partner type logical system everything is there right now what i am doing so i want to do something else okay so here i want to change 719 to 718 okay so system will accept or not just i'm checking so i want to change the sort key um, 011 to 01 okay so this is testing i'm doing uh, i'm doing right so um, for in order to do that it's outbound i doc so just click outbound process okay then click 
okay so your idoc has been created now you just to go back and go to w02 w02 okay so just executing this okay so your testing has been successfully completed check your data record okay so check your data records so you have changed this vendor right it's done and your post sort key also change so for testing point of view in real time so we can use w11 w sorry w uh, see in order to delete this idoc okay delete the idoc w11 so you want to delete any idoc then you can use w11 okay and so w19 so w19 so we can uh, do the testing activity whatever the you posted like a successful uh, idoc right so you want to change any idoc and you want to repush uh, repush uh, repush something else then you can use w19 t code okay so and i will take uh, uh, one more 30 minutes uh, one more 15 minute session tomorrow uh, how to create partner profile and all okay so please record this session all already recorded right so 100% this session should be helpful to you in real time concept i am explaining everything so um, just to watch up this video two times okay so two times and uh, you, whatever the explanation i am giving over here the same thing you need to uh, present it to the interviewer then you will select it in the first attempt only so initially i am explaining the basic stuff uh, so explain the real time content and a very difficult concept if you can see other youtube channel my explanation and the youtube explanation and whatever the other people explanation that is completely different because uh, so i am explaining completely real time standards real time way so those this uh, explanation and this way of uh, real time samples that i have taken and pushing to non sap to sap that you cannot find anywhere okay so what my suggestion is so uh, this is the way um, just to follow the video first okay and note down the uh, note down the points which i explained okay and also i shared you link also please uh, understand this complete idoc tutorial structure okay and also the follow this idoc ppt and i am sharing you 30 to 40 minutes uh, 30 to 40 real time interview questions uh, with respect of idocs so if you are going for uh, any interview so without reading this idoc interview question don't go Okay, if you read out this 40 questions, sir, so you can say you, you, you expect level in IDOC also you can say you can answer. So you can able to answer expert level questions in IDOC also. So if you put this, uh, uh, if you put this experience like IDOC implementation experience, then you can you, your profile easily shortlisted and you will be selected in real time. 100% I'm sure. So if you put IDOC and DME concept, these are completely added advantage to your profile. That is the reason I'm explaining to you. OK, so my complete focus on how we get real time job. OK, so other people will tell you all these those things like uh, subject and all. So that will take six months, 11 months. Uh, but even comparing to my training, uh, that is completely different. Please understand that. OK, and uh, here I shared you today some uh, IDOC interview questions. OK, if you follow that interview questions and uh, prepare at least two or three lines also that should be helpful okay so not entirely to do by heart at least understand that uh, uh, questions uh, and follow the document so you can able to answer any kind of questions in idoc and if you put your idoc implementation in um, you can say idoc implementation has been taken up to uh, testing part and the sending bank file uh, these are all things will be taken up uh, for 50 days that you can say to the interview 50 days Okay, tomorrow I will uh, come up with new topic and uh, also I will initial stage uh, 15 minute session is there how to create partner profile and uh, what is the uh, RFC destination partner profile. These are all basic stuff configuration area. I will tomorrow tell you and uh, today just follow the document. That's it. So you cannot uh, do this uh, these things in uh, in your system because it's a uh, highly complex complicated and uh, in real time also you can do only partner profile. Okay. So other things will be done by your basis about consultant, right? Thank you.